Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, we'll be doing a quick and easy G Fuel advertisement. Now, this video is mainly focusing on shadowing and how to pull off uh, realistic shadowing, uh, depending on where the lighting is and a tub and everything like that. So today, we're gonna go over that just with a brush. Literally, that's the only thing that you guys need is a simple zero hardness brush to get this stuff done. But anyway, guys, without further ado, let's get straight into the video. First off, we've got our G Fuel render here, something just really basic. Uh, I used it more for the angle because I know a lot of you guys try to use uh, different angled sort of shakers and tubs, so I know it can be really difficult to create realistic shadows, but I'm going to show you guys how I tackle it. So first things first, we're just going to grab uh, some orange color from the tub here, probably just this, and then we go Alt Delete or Alt Backspace to fill the background. Simple as that, uh, probably going to make the tub a little bit smaller because we're just going to chuck it in the middle. Uh, and now we're going to create a backlight, so we'll just grab a white brush, pretty big, put it behind the tub and just put that probably on, just put that on an overlay, just be like that. And now we're going to work on our shadows, so I use a black brush when it comes to the shadows. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to grab these two dots here. And if you guys don't know how to bring up this brush menu, sorry I didn't tell you guys that. Uh, all you guys are going to do is just right click and it will bring up the brush menu. All your different brushes and stuff. And then you just want to grab these two dots here and squish them down so your brush looks like this. So that's like that. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to brush below it like something probably like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to grab our move tool and we're going to click one of the anchor points and then click this uh, distortion tool up here and then we're just going to drag it out to an angle that the lighting would be going depending on what the tub is sitting. So we want to make it so that the brush is almost pointed like a very thin sort of uh, point like that Just in the point of contact where this part of the tub would be touching the ground now that we've done that We chuck a layer above and clip that on clicking alt clip and We'll bring our dots back out and then do a little bit of shading down here with the brush Just on the point of contact because obviously the closer it is to the ground more shadow that you guys will be having and then we just want to make sure it's touching just like that perfect so now it actually looks like it's touching the ground obviously we'll work on how harsh the shadow will be in a sec but i usually want to go for this shadow put it on a soft light like this and then i like to use brushes instead of hue and saturation and then i just like to layer it up slowly with the brushes just like that Always using a zero hardness brush and never really use anything different. Just nice and simple like that. Play with the opacity a bit. And then just keep making it darker to the point of contact. As you can see here, these parts aren't really touching, so we need to make this part right here the darkest part. Be almost pitch black on the point of contact. And it'll move the shadow a little bit closer. We'll grab the distortion tool again and just squish it a little bit thinner. There we go. As you guys can see, it looks like it's actually sitting there. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna turn this from a normal blending mode to a soft light. Control J to duplicate and then put it back on a normal blending mode. Put it below the layer we just made and then grab the distortion handlebars again and we're just going to drag it out this way so that the light actually reaches a little bit further still on the same angle but just looking like the actual tub itself is casting more of a shadow so probably like that and then we're just going to bring down the opacity and put that on a soft light and 
duplicate that on normal. And then probably just erase this side a little bit. Is it mainly be coming out the left side here just because of the angle of the tub? Wouldn't be much lighting coming out here. We'll just erase these parts of Here we are, that's already looking much nicer. So now what we're gonna quickly do is, cause obviously the bottom of the tub's gonna be much darker. So we're just gonna pen tool the line of the base here. Just like so. And then that on the bottom with black brush yet again. Then we're just gonna Gaussian blur it up here. Be yeah, just like that. And then put that on a soft light. Duplicate that again, make it a little bit bigger this time. Make sure it's still clipped on. And then just erase back again. And it's mainly just the base. Now that I'm looking at this, I think that we might have gone a little bit too harsh down the bottom here. Maybe just delete this too. Yeah, that's looking even so. Okay, looking nice. Now, we do have a pretty harsh light coming out from behind the tub, so we'll just add some really basic lighting here. Just grab an orange brush and lightly go around the outside, just like that, and then put that on a screen, lightly around the outside. And then we go again with another brush, but put it with a white color around the edge just like we did then but put it on an overlay and yeah that is pretty much the basics we'll just add one quick shadow with another black brush putting it on a soft light just shadowing the middle part where not much light would be hitting the tub Just like that, and then bringing the opacity down a little bit. Just like that. Alrighty guys, so there is the finished product. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like on the video and drop a comment on what else you guys would like to see in my next or future videos. Anyway, it's been your boy Jordan, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Peace, and I'm out.